In the mid-90s, I got interested in cameras and photographic chemistry. This was before the era of digital cameras. My favourite camera was the one built out of aluminium from old road signs. I wanted large photos and I wanted to see the results immediately, so it's a sort of slow motion Polaroid camera. It uses a colour process called Cibachrome. Unlike most photo processes which produce a negative of the image, this produces a positive, so it's ideal for an instant photo. At the time I took portraits of everyone I knew. I took hundreds of photos. Gradually the results became too predictable and I got bored. But recently I decided to take some more. But then I found that Ilford, who'd taken over the process, net renaming it Ilfochrome, had stopped making it. I tried using some of my old stuff, but uh, it didn't work at all. Then I remembered an old photographer telling me that the developer is the same as the black and white photos, and that it's the only part of the process that has a really short shelf life. So I just recently got round to buying some ordinary black and white developer and trying again. And amazingly, it just about works, even though the paper is now 10 years old. Inside the tube is a simple lens from a pair of reading glasses. A mirror inside the camera reflects the image down onto the bottom. A short pipe on the developer tray pokes out through the front and is connected to a hose. To compose the shot, I peer inside and get a rough idea of the lighting. The shutter is just the hinged lens cap. Obviously the paper has to be kept dark, it's inside this envelope. The black cloth stops light getting in through any gaps in the camera. The bag has two hand holes so I can get the paper out of its interior bag and into the camera. The exposure times are about 2 seconds outdoors and up to 30 seconds indoors. I develop the photo inside the camera. I level it and then pour in the developer warmed in the water to about 35 degrees centigrade. Rocking the camera makes sure it develops the photo evenly.
After a minute, I drain off the developer and pour in the second chemical, a sort of bleach. It's complete magic. The paper is built up of many layers sensitive to different colours and the bleach removes the parts that haven't been developed. Finally the bleach is drained off and replaced by the fixer which makes the image permanent. The images I can take now are all very dark. The paper is 10 years old and it's only supposed to last three. But I'm amazed it works at all and I'm delighted to have made this film as a record of one of the last <coughs> chrome images ever to be made. <coughs>